Hey guys, Gina here, and in today's video, I'm going to help you get started reading Greek mythology. The world of Greek mythology can be really intimidating these days because there are so many books coming out all the time. But it doesn't need to be, and as a personal Greek mythology fan, I want to get as many people as possible reading Greek mythology books. So let's make it simple, shall we? So if you're new to Greek mythology or you want a little refresher, the first place you should start is by reading Stephen Fry's book, Mythos. That's right, I don't think you should be reading classics like the Iliad or the Odyssey. I think you should get a really simple foundation first. Mythos essentially gives you a really good foundation for who the Greek gods are, how they were created, how we were created in the eyes of ancient Greek writers, some heroes and demigods and Greek mythology monsters, all of it. The best thing about this book is it's written in a really casual way. It's easy to understand and there's a little bit of humour thrown in, which to me is fantastic because Greek mythology should be a lot of fun, maybe something that you shouldn't take so seriously. Plus, it's written by Stephen Fry, so you get his kind of English sarcastic humour thrown in, which is a major bonus. Once you have this under your belt, you have a few decisions that you can make. Do you want to continue with learning the basics of the Greek mythology stories? If so, Stephen Fry has currently two books out with another one to come. The first one is Heroes, and this tells the story of all the heroes or demigods in Greek mythology all their stories and their journeys, etc. again in a very simple format that's easy to digest and full of humour. And then he also has Troy, which tells the story of the Trojan War. And then he has another one coming out very soon uh, called The Odyssey, which is obviously a retelling of The Odyssey. So you can read all of those if you want to. The benefits over reading these rather than say the classic original versions is that they're more geared towards a modern audience and therefore all the sensitivities of a modern, modern audience are taken into account. It's also written with a lot of humour and who doesn't like Stephen Fry's writing? If you don't want to go over more of the basics though, we can then move on to my favourite part of Greek mythology and that is the retellings. Retellings are essentially Greek mythology stories that have been retold, and they're usually retold through a different character's perspective. When I say different character, I mean different from the original story. Now this is where it can get really overwhelming because there are a lot of retellings, especially these days, but this is why I got you to read Stephen Fry's books first, because one of the things that you might notice while reading Stephen Fry's books is that you're particularly drawn to certain characters or stories within those books, and that is where I want you to start when you start reading Greek mythology retellings. For example, when I first started, I particularly got really interested in Medusa's story, and I still am, to be honest. So I started with traditionally published books, and I'll show a few more on screen. And then I moved on to indie authors and back again. You might like the story of the Trojan War. If so, there are plenty of retellings to choose from there. You might read tellings from minor characters, in which case, again, there are plenty. As you begin to read more and more retellings, you'll then start to realise that you like a particular type of retelling. For example, you might like a feminist take on Greek mythology stories, or you might like more of a fantasy take on Greek mythology stories, or you might like a bit of romance. If so, you can narrow your Greek mythology search and you'll still find plenty to read. And just a note before we keep going, if you want some recommendations for Greek mythology retellings or books in general to read, then I'll leave a link to my Goodreads shelf for my Greek mythology books that I've personally read and rated and reviewed, so you can check them out and see if there are any that might pique your interest. After retellings, we have another type of Greek mythology book, and that is books that are inspired by Greek mythology. These type of books would suit you over retellings if you like a bit more action, adventure, and something that's in maybe a more modern setting. These books use Greek mythology characters and settings and general themes and bring them into an entirely new setting or world that they have created themselves. These types of Greek mythology stories typically allow for a lot more flexibility and are less rigid in terms of the type of plot that you can have because they're not retellings they're inspired by. An example of this is Law by Alexandra Bracken, which is a great book, and of course the Percy Jackson series. 
If retellings or inspired by books are not your thing, then there's one more part of the Greek mythology world that you have got to try, and that is graphic novels. Graphic novels tell the stories of Greek mythology characters either in a retellings way or an inspired by way in this art form, and it is not to be overlooked. I for one love seeing how these artists interpret the Greek gods and the heroes and general characters in all these stories in their own unique way, and although they're really short, they definitely pack a punch, which is great for when you're just starting out reading Greek mythology. A great example of this is Lore Olympus by Rachel Smith, and this is just absolutely stunning. Then there's one more type of Greek mythology book that I really want to talk about today, because if you've started your Greek mythology journey and you're really into it like me, then you might want to take things up a notch. If so, there are some books that turn it way up in terms of Greek mythology no knowledge in a really nerdy way, and one of those is Pandora's Jar by Natalie Haynes. This is basically a set of more casual essays on the women in Greek mythology stories and how they're portrayed, and it's more like an analytical look at it, and it's absolutely fascinating. It may be really dense and full of information, but it's one you're not going to want to miss if you're really into Greek mythology like me. Okay, there we have it. A structured way to get into Greek mythology if you need a refresher or you're completely new to it. And as I said before, I will leave a link in the description of this video, which is to my Goodreads, so you can find some Greek mythology stories that you might like to read from there. But I would love to know from you. Do you have any additional tips for anybody who wants to get into Greek mythology? Do you have a favourite Greek mythology book or story that you have ever read? If so, leave all of that in the comments, and I will see you next time for another video.